from the northern Atacama Desert of Chile, the European Southern Observatory, or ESO, observes outer space. But observing what happens on our own planet is just as important. The EU's Earth monitoring tool is called Copernicus, a state-of-the-art satellite data system. Now, thanks to a groundbreaking agreement with the University of Chile, the EU will provide full, free and open access to all its Copernicus data to Latin America and the Caribbean. Copernicus can detect the existence of aerosols that deplete the ozone layer, the melting of the ice caps, monitor the quality and levels of our oceans, gather data to facilitate alternative green energy sources, and information to warn in advance of desertification and deforestation. Huge number of areas. Actually, only your imagination uh, sets the borders. And it's really important for this information to travel into knowledge, to travel into action, in order to fight uh, climate change. EU Vice President Vestager is a leading Danish politician and former interior minister with a long history of fighting to reduce global warming. She was in fact the inspiration for the Netflix blockbuster Borgen, a Danish series about the political concessions and issues of our times, including climate change. Vestager points out that forest fires are one of the side effects of climate change. The Copernicus system was used last month here to assist Chilean and EU firefighters in mapping the trajectory of aggressive wildfires. The EU will facilitate its earth monitoring system to scientists, environmentalists, entrepreneurs and individuals in a region that has little data gathering capacity of its own. Here you have it basically literally available at your fingertips so that as a researcher, uh, as a developer, as a business developer for that matter, you can see the trends and you can build your knowledge uh, from that. The EU's decision to share this information with Latin America mightn't just be for environmental reasons. This region is home to the world's most strategic minerals, including copper and lithium, resources that China now dominates. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santiago.